If you subscribe to the old saying, he who has the biggest toys win, then you will most certainly come in first place if you are traveling in the 2023 Pasadena 38 FX. I'm Steve DeVal from Thor Motor Coach. This is the latest floor plan in the Pasadena lineup. Right now I have the slides in, three slides on this amazing floor plan with all the seating options, an amazing kitchen, a king size bed, a midship bath. What we are going to do right now, we are going to open this Super C up and show you how much living space you have inside. And as we do that, what we're gonna do is talk about Rapid Camp Plus. You can use either the main screen right here or you can use your phone. We're gonna start with our wall slide. Again, three slides. Let's start with our driver's side slide right here. And as we walk through Rapid Camp Plus, I'm gonna just start on the home screen as the slides go out. From the main screen, you can turn your lights on or off, check your tank levels, turn on your water pump. There's a TV on a televator. You can put that up or down. There's a great sky shade over the overhead bunk. We'll open that for you when we talk about that. Quick look at your climate, check your house battery, your chassis battery, start or stop your generator from here. Put out our next slide. And this does have solar, yep, standard solar, 100 watts of solar right on top. You can check your solar with the go power button. Everything you need to know right in front of you. The next button down, the little lightning bolt, that is going to be when you really want to deep dive into your auto gen start. 8,000 watt diesel generator on here, by the way. Set your triggers, how long do you want it to run, start your quiet time. Everything you need for your auto gen start is right here. And we're going to finally finish up with our bed slide as we move down to our light button on Rapid Camp Plus. This gives you a little deeper dive into all of your lighting, control all the lights inside and out from here. If there's a little arrow next to it, hold that down and that will dim the lights. Then we have our thermostat button, front and rear ACs on here, two 15,000 BTU ACs. You have heat pumps on those as well. And this is where you're gonna set your AC and set your furnace. Next button down controls our fans. You have a fan in the bath and in the kitchen. Then where we are right now with our phone, putting out your slides, putting out your awnings, you have a rear awning and you have a front awning, two awnings. When we take our exterior tour, we will most certainly put those out for you. And the last page is how you connect to the mobile app. This is Vega Touch Eclipse. And with the Eclipse, once you are connected, such as we are right now, anywhere in the US, Mexico and Canada, you can control every feature and function of your Pasadena 38FX. Clean your screen, set the time, everything you need to do is right here. The switch right below this, this is for your 1800 watt inverter. So a quick walk of Rapid Camp. One more item I wanna point out. When you are putting your slide walls out, make sure your jacks are down, the engine is running, and your parking brake is set. I'm gonna go ahead and kill the engine right now just to take care of a little bit of that powerful, beastly engine sound, and we will fire it back up when we walk through the dash. But let's talk about our seating options. Right here, 68 inch sofa. And like every good sofa, and at least in a motor home, you have seat belts for the ride. It is comfortable to sit in as you are traveling down the street or you're having a conversation with the opposed seating, whoever is in the theater seats. And then at night, when it comes time to sleep, jackknife sofa here. Flip that down, put your sleeping bag, grab your stuffies, away you go off to dreamland. How about a little more relaxation? All right, you got a couple people over here. How about a couple more people over here in the theater seats? There are seatbelts here for the ride. What's nice about these, you can put your feet up, cups in here, large storage bay right here for all of your goodies and right across from the TV. So if you like to watch TV while you are on the road, go ahead, use the wall plate or the remote, put the TV right up and now you can watch whatever you want. And what's nice about the way the Pasadena is set up is you can take and connect a streaming device, you can connect a gaming console, and then you can connect to the WineGuard Connect 2.0 4G hotspot and Wi-Fi extender. All you have to do is use your favorite carrier or get a data plan through WineGuard. You insert the SIM card to the module on top of your Pasadena, hop online, set it up, and now you are a rolling hotspot wherever you are. And when you are camping and the campground has 
Wi-Fi or maybe you're somewhere in a nearby mall or restaurant has Wi-Fi, you can use the Wi-Fi extender and tap into that as well. Let's talk about the way this looks. This is an absolutely beautiful, beautiful motorhome. What we're seeing right here are the shell gray cabinets with the evening shade decor. Your other option is Long Beach with the regatta woodwork. And whatever woodwork you choose, you're going to find plenty, plenty of cabinets. You have four over the dinette. You have more up over the theater seats, more over the door. Wait until we get into the kitchen and then wait until you see the bedroom. Amazing storage in here. Walking back on our luxury vinyl plank flooring. Very durable. This is residential, so it's easy to clean and it is going to hold up to all the abuse you can throw at it. Even if you travel with pets, you don't have to worry about them scratching it up. Strong, strong stuff right here. 84 inch ceiling height on this, so plenty of room to walk around when you are heading over to the dinette. Seat four here, storage right underneath. These pull out just like that. This makes into a bed as well. You can push that down. So now you have sleeping here. Sleeping here, if you would rather have the sofa instead of the theater seating, you have sleeping here and you have sleeping up front. Massive, massive bunk. Check this out. 52 by 80. You have 37 inches of headroom up here. You want to do a little math, that is 91 cubic feet of storage if you want this as storage space. And then talk about natural light, that sky shade just opens up to some beautiful sunrises. That is an 800 pound capacity on that bunk. So great sleeping up here, great seating and ambiance, right? Fireplace down here, you have an electric fireplace. This throws off a ton of heat. So on those cool mornings, turn this on. You can adjust the color of the flame. You can adjust the temperature. And then if you just don't want it on, you can just turn it completely off. Another TV back here. So if somebody wants to watch something on this TV, somebody watches something on this TV, you can set that up to make that happen. Right back into our kitchen, large kitchen. Solid surface countertops, pull out extension. Large pull-out extension at that. So plenty of room to prepare all of your favorite meals, big enough to hold full-size appliances, plug underneath all of these beautiful cabinets, lots of storage up above, then down below, cabinets and drawers galore to store everything you could ever need with you. And what's great is because this is equipped with a single burner electric induction cooktop and two gas burners, and a convection microwave, by not having the stove in here, you have even more space where the stove would be. Now, don't let the convection microwave make you think, oh, I can't cook anything without an oven. Yes, you can. This is your oven. It cooks with hot air. You can do everything in here. You hit the convect button, you set your temperature, it is going to cook just like an oven. So all the utensils are here. Double bowl sink, you have covers when you need more room. Pull down sprayer. Accent lighting underneath. This makes a great night light if you are traveling with kids. So many great places to store everything you could ever need on your trip. Look, you even have, you even have storage here, up top, a nice shelf here, more storage here. This is gonna be your Blu-ray player. There's the HDMI switcher we were talking about for hooking up the, the gaming console or streaming device. And how about a pantry? Nice wooden pull-out pantry. It locks into place. All of your goodies are here. Look at that. Well, we got the chocolate on board. We got all the good stuff. Just push that out of the way, lock it in. Now it is going to stay safe and secure for the ride. Midship, we find our bathroom. Take a look at the size of this. Gonna start off with the shower. Fiberglass surround. 30 by 42 shower, you have a seat in here. Great place to take a shower. Yep, you got 100 gallons of fresh water on this. You do have 40 gallon black and a 40 gallon gray tank. I, I wanna point that out now because you see that blue disc right there on the shower. When you are out dry camping, you wanna conserve space in your tanks, right? And especially in your gray tank. 
shower miser. That's what the blue disc is. So what this is going to do, you turn the valve, tankless hot water in here, and then as that water heats up, that valve is going to take and turn from blue to sort of a grayish white like you see here in this video. That's how you know the water is hot. Now you go ahead and you crack the valve and all you're going to get is hot water. So you haven't been standing there for minute after minute just waiting for that water to get warm, taking up capacity in your gray tank. It is the shower miser come standard on your Pasadena. A lot of room in here for towels. You have a porcelain foot flush toilet, medicine cabinets, a lot of counter space up here, GFCI, controls for your tankless water heater, great bathroom in here, very large bathroom indeed. And as you saw with all the slides and you can still access it. You can even access this beautiful fridge as we move back just a little bit more. Nice residential refrigerator, bottom pull out freezer, a lot of room in here because you can never have too much room in your fridge. If you're not cooking, you're going out, you're bringing out leftovers, you got plenty of places to storm. Nice mirror over here when you're getting ready. Go ahead, make sure you, you look the part. Make sure you look aces before you head outside. And here we are in the bedroom. King size tilt of view bed. Right now it is in the up position, which it needs to be in when you put that slide wall in. So much room when it is in the up position to just, just hang out back here. And then you go ahead and you put it down when you are ready to sleep. And then you have places to charge your phones in the nightstands. You have a 12 volt back here as well if you need a CPAP machine. And then as we turn to the other side, bam, look at this wall of storage. Washer dryer prep if you would like that or if you'd like the closet space. So either here in the side with the louver doors, in the middle, another large hanging space. The ladder stores back here for the overhead bunk. And then another wardrobe with this adjustable shelves back here. Each closet has its own light in it. You even have a lot of storage underneath the TV. So, so much room in here. Dual pane windows on this. They open awning style. All you have to do to get some nice ventilation in here is just turn the handle and they open. And what's nice about this on a day like today, you just open them up, you let the breeze in. And if it starts to rain, which it may, you don't have to worry about that rain blowing in the window because they open awning style. You'll get a lot of nice ventilation in here. Now, one of the things I love about this S2 RV chassis is up front in the driver's seat. So what do you say? We fire this Pasadena up and listen to the sweet, sweet sounds of this ISBXT 6.7 liter engine. We're talking 360 horsepower, 800 pound feet of torque. That torque kicks in at 1800 RPM. When you have something hooked up to that 15,000 pound hitch, that is a true 15,000 pound hitch, by the way, whether it's race cars, a horse trailer, you're not going to have any issues towing whatever it is you need to tow. So let's talk a little more about what gives us such a sweet, sweet ride. Yes, you can always do this. Let people know you're in a Pasadena. I love that feature. It's very, very cool. Some of the other features, though, that give this such a smooth, sweet ride. You have a 55 degree wheel cut. That is going to help you navigate into those tight turning situations. You have air ride suspension. You can dial in the perfect ride for your backside with air ride seats. The controls are in the side. Dial it in. Oh, if you have never been in a vehicle with air ride seats, you are in for a treat. An absolutely wonderful, wonderful driving machine. Well, let's walk through the buttons on the dashboard here. Remote mirrors, they're heated remote mirrors. The controls for the mirrors are here and we work all the way over. The mirror heat is over on this side we'll talk about in your center stack, but we're gonna kind of work, gonna work from left to right. Controls for your lights, controls for your cruise control are down here. You have stocks for your windshield wiper, uh, for your bright lights as well, you just pull on that. You know what feature I really miss though for bright lights? This is going way back and it probably dates me a little bit, but that's okay. The little button that you used to press with your left foot to turn on your bright lights, there are times I miss that, but I haven't had that feature since my 72 Nova. But this, this is a much better driving machine than that was. 
walking through your gauge cluster here, oil pressure, water temp, fuel gauge, the gauges for your air tanks, tachometer, speedometer, and all the warning lights you can think of, and then some. Automatic traction control button over here. Transmission is right here. Buttons for your power windows, power locks. This button is for your engine brake. In the center, you have your air brake, your one-touch leveling jacks, mirror heat, a 12-volt outlet. This button is your manual regeneration switch. This is for stationary regeneration. What's happening is your diesel engine is making soot and your diesel particulate filter is gonna collect that soot and when it needs to be cleaned off, you hit that button, gonna heat everything up to around a thousand degrees or so and burn that off for you. The button here that looks like a little truck is your rear air suspension dump switch to deflate the rear airbags. Now you can only do this with the key on and they will reinflate with the key off. Down below that, cup holders for a tasty beverage on the go, HVAC controls, USB-A port, and you have an auxiliary start button. You have four house batteries in here, and in the event your chassis battery would die, you can hold that button in and use the house batteries to jumpstart your chassis battery. And last but not least, an awesome infotainment center. This has everything you need for a great road trip. If you like radio to check out new radio stations, new towns, you can do that. You also have Sirius XM, Android Auto, Apple CarPlay. The camera button pulls up the backup camera at any point. You also have cameras linked up to the turn signals. So whether you're going left or right, we'll show you where those cameras are mounted when we walk outside, but that image will show up right here in the screen. Bluetooth phone, Bluetooth audio, some equalizer, some other settings. So a great infotainment center. You have hard buttons down below as well. And what's nice about having Apple CarPlay and Android Auto is you can choose the RV specific navigation of your choice. So whatever it is you like to travel with, download that to your Android device, your Apple device, you plug in and now that is mirrored right here on that giant screen. So everything you need for a great comfortable ride, a lot of storage up above, so yeah, an absolutely incredible infotainment center to listen to all your favorite songs to get you where you are going. And then when you arrive, you're gonna to wanna to set up. We are going to show you just how easy that is. So hang on and I'll meet you up front. Let's head up front and get into the belly of the beast. I just wanna show you what Freightliner does on this S2 RV chassis. One, it's real easy to get into the hood. Latches on each side, grab the handle, and over on this side, they make it so easy to do the maintenance and check your fluids before you even hit the road. The way they have this designed is in the event a strong wind gust would come up, you don't have to worry about this blowing shut on you, but a real nice, easily accessible engine bay to do all of your maintenance. Plus it looks really tough too. I love the way this thing looks. Massive, massive tires on this. Your mirrors, nice steps to get right inside. You climb up, grab the handle, have a seat and adjust it. Remember air ride seat, ultimate comfort. We talked about this being 39 feet, 10 inches. I wanna talk about your occupant and cargo carrying capacity. 8,038 pounds. That's a lot of goodies you can take with you. And you have 180 cubic feet of storage. We are going to open every single bay. We talked a little bit about the cameras that show up in the infotainment center when you turn your directional on right here. This is going to be for your right side. There is one for your left side as well. As we open our bays, large storage bays. Oh, this is the air hose, so there's an air chuck up under the hoods. So there's an air hose for you here, and you do have extra planks of that luxury vinyl tile. Pass through in here, durable rotocast slam latch bays, 180 cubic feet. Fill them up with everything you could want. As we walk on through, you do have a screen door, so you want some ventilation. We talked about opening the windows. This is a great way to get that breeze through. A little mud room, throw the muddy shoes right here. A couple of switches on the side. You have your 12 volt battery disconnect switch. Turn that on before you leave. Keep it on the entire time for great Pasadena adventures. 
You can even put out your awning from here. You have an awning, two awnings on here, an awning over the door and an awning off to the rear. Gonna cover your entire campsite and you can sit out here and enjoy just looking at your Pasadena. Couple of different colors. What we have is the full body paint lake port behind me. And the other you see here is Crescent City. Now, these aren't the 38FX, but these were the ones that were available when we were shooting this portion of the video, but you get the idea, this is what the paint scheme is. But wonderful awnings, there are lights underneath those as well. Above those, that's not another awning, that is just a slide topper. When you get into this time of year and the leaves start to fall, that slide topper is gonna keep the leaves and other debris from getting on top of your slide and gumming up the works when you put that in and out. Tankless hot water, that is going to be right here if you need to service it. Really all that's in there is a fuse and an on off switch. Another very large storage bay with some pass through. 100 gallons of fresh water right here. When you are ready to drain your tank to winterize, there is the valve, so really easy to find. We talked about your other capacities we were inside. Exterior TV, so now you're outside, you're entertaining, you are Maybe you're watching a movie, a game, whatever it is you like while you are enjoying some outdoor cooking. We're gonna talk about hooking up an exterior grill, griddle, fire pit, whatever it is you need to hook up to enjoy. And make sure your pets enjoy the time away too. Little tie down link right here. Put the leash here, now your dog won't run away or if you brought bikes or a golf cart, whatever it is, you can just run a lock through there and keep everything safe at your campsite. Another large bay. Again, you have some pass through in here. 8,000 watt quiet diesel generator. You can start it from here as well. There's a breaker out here. This is gonna provide you with all the power your Pasadena needs. And in this bay, there's your exterior propane connection. So you're just gonna run your cable there out to whatever it is you are going to use. Remember, this is a regulated connection, so in the event the grill or the fire pit is not giving the flame action that you like, adjust the regulator on that device, not here. And again, another incredibly large storage bay. As we work our way around back, generator exhaust, be aware of that when the generator is running, that will get hot. And yes, your Pasadena is equipped with the always true level and strong, the Atlas Foundation. A lot of other things to show you back here. A ladder to get up top to do maintenance on the roof or to install the SIM card for the wine guard that we talked about. Your backup camera is up there. Rear exit window and your 15,000 pound hitch, seven pin and four pin connector. Again, 15,000 pounds of towing. More bays over here, again, pass through. On, on every storage bay here, you can just load up whatever you want. There's the propane tank. Again, make sure that this is on when you're using the exterior propane connection. You're gonna need this for heat. You're going to need this for hot water. Right here, your fuel, 100 gallons of diesel. Go right in there. I'm gonna close this up to give a better look into here. This is where we're gonna plug in our 50 amp shore power cord and our cable. It's a detachable cord. I love the detachable cord so you can just store it wherever you want. You're gonna hook that right up here and next to that. If you want cable at the campsite, it's just a piece of coax like this. Put it in there, you put the other end into the campsite and now you are watching cable. We talked about tuning in those TVs on the inside. Right here, a little bit of plumbing. This is where this is the business end right here. It all happens here. Water filter right here, low point drain, exterior shower, hot and cold water. And I love this system right here. This Nautilus system couldn't be easier to use because everything you want is clearly laid out. You're gonna sanitize your tank. You're gonna fill your tank. Are you gonna dry camp? All you have to do is follow the chart and you will be ready to rock and roll no matter where you are. And what I love about this bay is when you are hooking up your connections, there's a place for everything in here. You can run your hose up here and then whether you wanna flush your tank, you wanna sanitize or you're connecting to the city water, just wanna point out when you're connected to city water, 
Turn your water pump off. When you are dry camping, you're gonna want your water pump on. You can run everything up through here and up through here is where you run your plumbing. Real easy to drain your tanks. Just connect this, you unscrew the cap, put your bayonet connectors on, and now you pull your black tank, you pull your gray tank, you have drained your tanks. And the way that this is set up, what's really nice is you can close this. Now everything is enclosed. You can lock it if you want a little security and you are safe. Exhaust for your furnace right here. Another large bay, your 1800 watt inverter is in here. This is the, the B and B, the old breakers and batteries bay. So this is real easy to access. Nothing is hidden, nothing is tucked away. Really easy to get in here. You have the clusters for your chassis battery, clusters the four house batteries, all the breakers you need. So it's nice and easy to get in there and do what you need to do. Another large bay with pass through up in here. What I like about these rotocast bays is one, they're easy to hose out. There's a little drain in the back. So, you know, you throw all your dirty stuff in there after you hose it off, you hose out the bay, really easy to clean out. They're not gonna mold, they're not gonna mildew because there's no carpet or anything in there. The rotocast bays are gonna last forever. Here is the camera for your left directional. As we get up here, diesel exhaust fluid right here. 750 watt engine block heater right here. And here we go, right back to where we started. It's an amazing machine. It is the Pasadena 38FX. If you would like to explore more about the 38FX or any of the other floor plans in the Pasadena lineup, hit up ThorMotorCoach.com. All the info you need is right there. I appreciate you watching. I'm Steve DeVal and keep it right here because we will see you on our next tour.